Hi, I'm Tomer. And I'm Aaron. We are really excited to show you a cool demo that is based on a true customer incident. Let's dive right in. As we can see, the attacker is able to connect to the customer's public server. The goal of the attacker is to achieve remote code execution on the server in order to start spreading from there to the rest of the network. To do this, they run a log4j attack, which is one of the most popular breach methods in the last few years. Luckily, Checkpoint IPS detects and prevents the attack, protecting the customer server. This is not enough, since the attacker still has network access to launch additional attacks and to try and find security holes. This is where Playbox comes to the rescue, and we can see a notification in the Security Admins Operational Teams channel. The attacker's machine has been blocked from any access to the customer's network, preventing him from running any other attacks or even just gathering intelligence. The block is so comprehensive that it's enforced not only on the specific gateway that detected the original attack, but on all of the customer's gateways in multiple regions. As promised, we can see that the attacker can't even ping the server anymore, and of course, another attack cannot even make the initial connection. The story doesn't end here. Our attacker is very motivated and determined. His next step is to try a mix of social engineering and a physical approach that will bypass the security gateway. He left an inconspicuous looking USB drive marked with a curiosity inducing label, payroll. One of the IT employees found it, plugged it into his desktop, and tried to open the document. The document based attack is armed with evasive technology, so there was no malicious file signature to quickly detect, and the code started to execute. Luckily, again, this customer has endpoint security installed on all corporate PCs, and once the code tried to encrypt and delete files, endpoint reacted and prevented the attack from continuing. Since malicious code was able to run on this machine, it is hard to say if potentially dangerous remnants are still there. These remnants may try to infect other machines on the network via lateral movement techniques. The right thing to do is to quarantine the machine from the rest of the network until it, it is thoroughly cleaned. The reaction time in such cases is critical in order to minimize the window of opportunity for the malicious code to expand the infection. Waiting for a human to do this just isn't fast enough. Again, Playblocks comes to the rescue with a near real-time response that put the device in quarantine. This quarantine is enforced by the security gateway responsible for internal segmentation. The machine can no longer reach other sensitive networks, but still has access to download resources needed for cleanup and remediation. The event is also communicated to the security team via the Teams channel. Once the machine has been cleaned up, or if the security team believes this is a false positive, they can easily click the revert button in the notification to release the machine from quarantine.